health organizations have been on alert about the dangers of salt for a long time. Trust me this video is very amazing for you you will learn a lot of new things now let's start the video. There are claims that excess salt intake causes high blood pressure and heart disease. Yet, decades of research have observed conflicting results. What's more, some evidence shows that eating too little salt can be harmful. What is salt? Salt is the most significant source of sodium in your diet. Also known as sodium chloride, NaCl, it comprises 40% sodium and 60% chloride. Today, the terms salt and sodium are often used interchangeably. Side effects of too much salt. While your body needs some salt to function properly, too much of it can be detrimental to your health. Might harm heart health. Excess sodium intake is a global concern. For example, it's a risk factor for hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. Hypertension increases your risk of heart failure, a condition in which your heart can't properly pump blood throughout your body. Salt affects blood pressure via several complex pathways that affect your body's hormonal, inflammatory, immune, and digestive systems. Overeating salt may also suppress the renin-angiotensin system, which regulates blood pressure and sodium levels. Fortunately, reducing your salt intake might lower your blood pressure level, especially in people with a medical condition called salt-sensitive hypertension. In an analysis of four large studies including 113,118 people with and without hypertension, the risk of heart disease and death was higher in those who had a high sodium intake, compared with those with a moderate sodium intake. Similarly, a review of research in 229,785 adults who were followed for 13 years found that higher intakes of sodium were associated with death from heart disease. Possibly linked to stomach cancer. Stomach cancer, also known as gastric cancer, is one of the most common types of cancer and the fourth leading cause of cancer death worldwide. Several studies associate high salt diets, typically including foods like salted meats and pickled vegetables, with an increased risk of stomach cancer. A study in 40,729 Japanese adults found that those with stronger preferences for salty foods had a 30% greater risk of developing gastric cancer than people who preferred less salty foods. Side effects of too little salt. While too much salt can be harmful, so can too little. Some evidence suggests that a low salt diet can cause low blood pressure, dehydration, low sodium levels, and elevated blood fat levels. Low blood pressure or hypotension. It's possible for those with normal blood pressure to become hypotensive, which is when your blood pressure is lower than normal. Hypotension can be dangerous. Some of the signs and symptoms include dizziness, nausea, fainting, blurred vision, depression, and dehydration. The risk of hypotension is especially high for those who have experienced heart failure, as many treatment plans significantly reduce blood pressure. If you fall into this category, it's important that you regularly check your blood pressure levels. Dehydration. Because sodium plays a prominent role in managing fluid balance, a low salt diet could cause dehydration, which is when there isn't enough fluid in your body. Signs of dehydration may present as skin changes, mouth dryness, and thirst. If left untreated, dehydration can lead to hospitalization and even death. Older adults and people with malnutrition are at a higher risk of dehydration and should pay close attention to their daily fluid intake and any symptoms of dehydration. Low blood sodium levels. A low salt diet can cause hyponatremia, a condition in which sodium levels in your blood are lower than normal. People with hyponatremia may experience serious neurological problems like impaired mental status, seizures, water on the brain, coma, and death. Some people with the condition experience gastrointestinal, GI tract, symptoms like appetite loss, vomiting, and nausea. Older adults are at a particularly high risk of hyponatremia, which can lead to falls and other medical complications. As such, it's important they seek medical attention if they experience any of the above-mentioned symptoms. Elevated cholesterol and triglycerides. Salt restriction has been linked to elevated blood levels of LDL, BAD, cholesterol and triglycerides. Eating a reduced salt diet increased cholesterol by 2.9% and triglycerides by 6.3% in both groups. This is worth keeping in mind, as LDL, BAD, cholesterol and triglycerides are known to contribute to heart disease risk. Everyone needs salt for optimal health. Yet, eating both too much or too little carries some health risks. 
the AHA recommends that you limit your sodium intake to 2,300 mg or fewer per day, ideally aiming for 1,500 mg, which equals 3 quarters teaspoons of salt. You can accomplish this by checking the nutrition fact labels of packaged foods and enjoying a balanced diet high in naturally low salt foods like vegetables, fruits, whole grains, low-fat dairy, and lean protein. If you've been diagnosed with high blood pressure or heart disease, it's vital to speak with your healthcare professional and a registered dietitian to discuss what type of eating plan is right for you. Eating a low-sodium diet might help reduce your blood pressure.